the man, the myth, the legend, the Hall of Famer, Michael Cooper joins us. Brother, what's going on? Here with the big three in Baltimore, ready to get it on. I like it. How you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful. And you, you're looking good. I, I feel good. You, they say when you look good, you feel good, you play good. Well, I don't play anymore, so I'm, I, I like to watch looking good. Does it feel surreal that your name is going in Springfield, Massachusetts at the Basketball Hall of Fame? Very much so. You know, when you play this game, I've always played it for the love of the game. And uh, for my footprints to be at the doorstep and the, the door opening for me is unbelievable. I like it because you were one of the heart and souls of those Lakers Showtime teams. What stood out to you during your time when you played? You know what, it's about winning championships as a team, the camaraderie. And so when we were going through that, we just got bigger, stronger, and better. And uh, yeah, it was just, you know, those are memories that always live with me. We stay in contact as players, so it was great. Now that you're going to be in, are there any other of your cohorts and the Lakers uh, purple and gold that you'd like to also see be, be inducted as well? Oh, of course. I think uh, Byron Scott, Norm Nixon, should definitely be in there. Hopefully they'll be considered in the future. Robert Ory, one of the players. But uh, you know what? I found out that the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame isn't about what you've done on the court most of the time. It is. But it's your uh, contribution to the game giving back to the game in any form and fashion. Well, Robert Ory has seven championships. I think he sh and was a key contributor in Houston, San Antonio, and Los Angeles. What do you think it'll take for him to get in? I think what it took me, that's time. You got to get nominated. You got to be on that the list. And once you get on the list, hopefully they'll pick him. Recently, Bronny James was drafted by the Lakers. What was your thought when you saw that? I think that is one of the greatest things that ever happened. First, Le LeBron James, his father, has done so much for the game of basketball and has been first. Now he'd be the first player to ever play with his son. And why not do it in a Laker uniform? People give him hell, on, at least on social media, about nepotism. But in basketball, basketball has a lot of relational or familial things. Why do you think people go so hard at LeBron? When you're that good, people try to find little nicks and knacks about you. But this is not about nepotism at all. It's about drafting a young player that can definitely help the Lakers in the long run. And it happened to have a name, James. LeBron is going into his 22nd season in the NBA. Does his point in his career remind you more of Michael in Washington or Magic when he came back from retirement? Magic when he came back in retirement. You know, LeBron still has the athleticism, but it's not at the level we're used to seeing, but he still got the knowledge and the smarts. Brother, you are a wealth of knowledge. I'm excited for you in the Hall of Fame. Anything else you have going on in the future that we should be paying attention to? Living life to the fullest and enjoying it. Got a son at UC Davis. He's 19. He'll be a sophomore year, so that's what I'm looking forward to. You're off the high seat, brother. Thank you for your time. Thank you.